All right, people vote and they count the votes. Pretty simple. Okay. While we wait for all the ballots to be counted, some races have been called, others just can't be. W News 2's Maddie Gardner talked with the experts about how do they make that decision. And that is really the question that everybody has been asking today, right? Why can we call some races, like the one for our state's governor, but we still can call other important races, like who is going to get North Carolina's electoral college votes in the presidential election? And I got to tell you, it all comes down to two things, math and absentee ballots. Listen to this. There are about 110,000 absentee ballots still out there that have not been counted in our state. And if the number of votes that separates two candidates is less than the number of votes that have yet to be counted, it's impossible to say who won. And that's what's going on in the race for both president and U.S. Senate. High Point University political science professor Brandon Lenore says we have to find our patience and wait out this political process. This is democracy. I mean, this is democracy at work. It doesn't happen like Twitter. It's not instantaneous. We have to count all the votes and we have to see who won. Uh, we don't want to disenfranchise people who took the time to actually cast a ballot. So let's give the process a little bit of time, wait to see what the results say, and then at that point we can declare a winner. And you may remember that the Supreme Court ruled that North Carolina can continue to count those absentee ballots up until November 12th, as long as they were postmarked on or before Election Day. Now, Lenore says he doubts it is going to take that long for us to declare a winner here in North Carolina. But you also have to keep this in mind. Out of all of those 110,000 absentee ballots that are still out there and uncounted, not all of those are going to come back. And when you think about that, you consider people who may have requested an absentee ballot, but then later decided just to go to the polls and vote in person.